Okay, zooming in. Palma Marcos with Ocean Cam. You see the new piece attached here to the quick disconnect. They lifted it up with the Kong crane. Gonna fix the focus here. Okay, so that's a close up of the what it looks like now. I'll pan to the right. See the tower there. Pan to the left. I'll zoom in then tilt up. Focusing a little bit. Tilting up. Okay, I'll pan to the right. Tilt down. Pan to the right. Tilt down. Pan left. Zoom in. Focus. Pen left. Focus. Tilt down. Pan left. Tilt up. Zoom out. I'm zooming out. And second time. Okay. 
at the base here, you can see on the left they did offload this SPMT uh, and the GSE sleeve cover is now on the ground here. So they're going to move these SPMTs out of the way. You can see it in front here. It's been a successful day here at SpaceX launch site. You can see the uh, over launch pad up there in the center with the booster 4 on it. September 2021, they just lifted the quick disconnect um, attachment. On the left you see the uh, sleeve cover and to the bottom right we see the two SPMTs. I'll pan to the left here, show the rest of the tank farm to the left. There's been word that this is probably going over the leftmost uh, silver tank there, just behind that yellow crane. So it's thought it's either going there or to the back. So, but uh, what I'm told from the sticker that was on it when it was being transported that it's going on that left forwardmost spot there. And I'll continue panning left. That goes down to the beach and to the right. Again, we got the booster four, we got the tower, we got the big berm there. We got the um, catch arm there still being put together. We got Starship 20 there in the, in the back right. And what remains of Booster 3 is still there on the stand. Not sure if they're going to do anything with it. So that's what's going on here this afternoon.